for me, the boot camp is similar. It's um, it's basically when I when I go out myself. Because when I go out myself, or let's say I go out with a random wing, sometimes I would go out, but then I would only do like three or four or five approaches a day, and sometimes that's not enough because a lot of them, maybe like three or four of them, would just be, oh hey, I think you're really cute. I wanted to come meet you, and that that was it. And then she'll say, oh, I have a boyfriend, and blah blah blah, and the sets die out. So mm. that's one thing. Another thing is it's really hard to um, to identify your own mistakes too. So if you get stuck on a plateau, you're like, okay, how do I continue this conversation? Yeah. What did I do wrong there? I recorded my sets. I require have a. I still have audio recordings actually still uh, in my phone. <laughs> I just go look over them and uh, hear. Um, I hear the recordings. I'm like, oh shoot, I don't know. I don't know how I can improve on that. I have a lot of questions. How do I extend the conversation to 20 minutes? How mm-hmm. do I, how do I tease more effectively? How do I, um, let's see. Uh, yeah. When she says something, how do I respond back? And then all of these things, when you go take a boot camp, then you get your answers immediately answered. You get your questions immediately answered. And there you go. Then your progress improves massively. Like within, within days, I would say, with not even, not even weeks, mm-hmm. two or three days, when you get your questions answered, that's when the, results improve. I, I call those like, so I call those linchpins. So for me, it's like, so even nowadays in me and my own progress, which you probably can like uh, contest to this, uh, it's usually like one thing or like maybe like a hand, like a few things that once you tweak on them, like your game, like, so you, you hit like a plateau where you feel like you're not improving. And then all of a sudden you do one thing different and your, and your results skyrocket or like not even skyrocket, but at least they start moving back up again. It's, it's usually, um, usually like sometimes like the plateau, like You'll be improving a lot of different areas of your game, but there's one thing holding you back. And then once you improve that one thing, it's like, it jumps you up another level. It's like, there's a lot of different, like games kind of like up and down though, like this. That's yeah, yeah. I, would, I would put it, if I were to put it in a graph, I would say it's kind of like a ladder. It's like you go up and then you stall a bit and then you go up again and you stall a bit. And that's mm-hmm. how I feel. And then um, another thing is once you get to a certain level, you realize how much more you can learn. Yeah. It's uh, like at the beginning, I would like make an analogy how it's like a small circle, you know, the circle like this, the Mm -hmm. circumference is really small. So the area that's unknown to you, you're like, oh yeah, that's not that bad. It's not a lot. But when you know more, the circumference gets bigger. Right. And then you're like, wow, there's actually so many, so much more things uh, that I could have learned that I didn't know before. And then, you know, your, your mind basically explodes and you're like, okay, I want to know more of this. I want to learn how to do more. (laughs) I feel like it was like, so when I worked with my old mentors, um, what I found was it was like, almost like, um, it was like, they, you could say the same thing to me, but once I kind of reach that, like once I break through a plateau, you could say the same thing, but I understand on a deeper level. And then I break through another plateau and got to understand deeper level, deeper level, deeper level. And it's like, uh, it, it's like the game has this like almost way of like, kind of like teaching you, uh, man, almost the, the, not the, the, like how to firstly understand yourself. But also how to understand like things on a deep, deep level, not just like on a surface level, which is what most people are kind of working on. Uh, mm-hmm. It's it's like a constantly like ever layer. It's like it's constantly just layered where you're learning something new about yourself or about the world every day. Absolutely, yeah. Mm-hmm. With your boot camp, I actually took two of them. The first one was uh, only three days, but then the second one was like an immersion that was around 14, 15 days. And to be honest, I learned the most on the 14 and 15 day uh, boot camp. Um, Three days personally for me is not enough because um, for me, I started at a really low place. I think um, in the first Halloween boot camp that I took, I was I was the worst student out of all of them, I felt. And then um, I had a lot of issues back then. You know, I, I had a lot of anxiety. I had no self-confidence. Back then, my life was in order. My life was a mess. Uh, I was browsing, you know, like the Black Pill forums and uh, a lot of the really hate, hate, hatred forums and whatnot. And now that I look back at it, it's, it's really stupid of me. I would like go back and slap myself in the face, honestly. But uh, the most progress actually came um, during uh, the emergent boot camp from day 14 to uh, the 14, 15 day one. And that was literally because a person from the previous boot camp, if you're, if you're looking at this, uh, hello. So yes, yeah, so randomly contacted me out of nowhere. And he said, hey, look, How's your game going? You know, do you want to take another boot camp? Well, I offered to, I offered him to take another boot camp, and then we just kind of connected. So a call from Salt on a whim actually gave me a uh, motivation to take the second boot camp, which is from uh, the, which is around in 
I think March or April, I forgot, but it was around that time. And during that time, I, in the first beginning couple of days, it was really shaky. But then once you start getting your questions answered, and then once like the light bulbs start lighting up, then it's epiphany after epiphany, like, oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do that. Ah, so this is how I control my approach anxiety. And then it just slowly builds up from there. And from day 15, by the time day 15 came around, I had no problems going out solo and doing day game by myself. Oh yeah, well, this is something that, all right. So for anybody that's watching this video too, uh, Poe, like the, like the way you've been talking to me on the camera right now is something you would not have been able to do back then, like by far. You're like, so I, I ran into you in the club, like what, last weekend? And I, I literally started crying. Like by had like the results, you like you you completely you changed to such a degree. Your energy was different. The way you were like speaking to me, the way you were talking to me, uh, it was a completely different situation. During that time between uh, during this time spring 2021, that was uh, when the pandemic has just started to ease a little bit open. Um, during those 14 days, I learned that honestly, approaching is a uh, not really a big deal once you get past the approach anxiety. Yeah, because like um, one biggest thing is, okay, yeah, a lot of people actually have very good uh, conversational skills, you know, their social circle game or the, the way they communicate genuinely with the others. They're actually not that bad at it. And that's including me. I remember um, Denton actually telling me that I had good verbals or I'm very witty at the end of the boot camp that I wasn't even aware of. So I just realized, okay, if I get uh, the approach anxiety nailed down, I'll be able to progress at a much faster rate. So that is what I learned from the boot camp, And I also learned that the approach anxiety never really goes away, but you'd learn how to manage it way better when you take a boot camp because you want to surround yourself with like-minded people. You don't want to surround yourself with like negative toxic people that say, oh, cold approach never works. Oh, why would you do that? That's weird. You want to approach yourself with people, you know, that want the best of you, that want, that want to see you improve. So going into a boot camp and surrounding yourself with like-minded people and learning uh, how to manage your fears, you know, working towards a goal commonly, that's why I learned the most about the boot camp. And that's something that you cannot do solo. I uh, started to be aware. I started to be more aware of my surroundings. Honestly, like it's, uh, it sounds really cliche, but uh, I started to build more situational awareness. Every time I see something, I'll ask myself, okay, uh, what do I know about that? So the next time I get into a conversation, I'll be able to pick it up. So let's say um, a girl says that she's from Arizona. I could say something like, okay, well, what do I, what do I know about Arizona? I know, uh, I know Phoenix and Scottsdale. I know that when you cook an egg on the asphalt, it gets really hot. So then you can, uh, you can basically cook an egg on the sidewalk. And uh, I, know, um, I know it's hot as hell out there. And it's not right next to Death Valley, so I could talk about that as well. So that's actually one really big thing I've learned over the years is just to be curious about a lot of things. So when things come up and then when you talk to like not only just girls, but other people, you can start rifting on the topic when a topic comes up and you'll know something about it. My, my vibe totally changed and my confidence skyrocketed after the boot camp. I saw that video of you holding the girl like, like this in your arms like this, like picking her up. <laughs> and we're all like yelling her name as it's going down. Yeah, so I remember back, yeah, back then I was really shy, but it's not just like the outer game, no, it's actually a, my inner game has improved that well as well. Uh, I remember you kept saying, okay, you got to view yourself as a 12 out of 10, 12 out of 10. So then uh, I did, but then when I went back after boot camps, then I started actually becoming that 12 out of 10, where uh, basically uh, just, you know, cleaning up the room, cleaning up my room. That's the first start. Then losing weight. I lost a lot of weight, uh, eating healthy and just overall, just being an attractive person and building up from there. That's, uh, that was my natural progress. If you want to, um, if you want to improve at a very fast rate, you should definitely take a boot camp. Um, just because of the, men the reasons I mentioned, uh, the first one is, uh, you're surrounded with like-minded people, like, up until today, I still keep in contact with a student I met from last week's Halloween boot camp. So uh, basically, we're actually still in a Facebook group together, and we held, hold each other accountable by uh, posting our pictures of our 
of our diet, exercise, and what we're doing in life. So that's one thing. You surround yourself with very positive, like-minded people that want to improve. And secondly, if you have questions and you have, a, you have that burning question or you have like a plateau that you can't see in the break, the fastest way is to get someone better than you that can tell you, okay, that's your problem right there. So you can immediately improve on that problem. So for me, one of my, I remember one of my major obstacles was approach anxiety and how to, how to, um, how to manage it. That was one of the big ones. And then during the 14 day boot camp, Denton was always like, you know what? As long as you fix your vibe, you would do much better. So I, I took that to heart. I was like, okay, fix the vibe, fix the vibe. So every time I wanted to go into a set, I would just think really happy thoughts. I would think like really retarded thoughts or things that made me laugh. And then when I started laughing, that's when I go, that's when I would go into a set. And that actually helped a lot. After the Halloween boot camp, you, I can't remember, you, you got a girl's phone number on a plane. Uh, am I right? It was like, you got a girl's phone number on the plane out of uh, Las Vegas. And then during the Halloween, the, the merge boot camp, by the end of the boot camp, you had like a couple, you went on a couple of dates, if I remember right. You started hanging out with a couple of groups of girls. Yes, I did. Uh, so um, the first one, the Halloween boot camp, that was when I got the, the phone number on a plane. And then the, after the second boot camp, that's when I got like the, the dates. And um, mm -hmm. that's when I started, uh, I guess, seeing some very major progression.